Hey guys, my name is Amira and welcome back to my channel. I also go by Meerkat95. Today we're gonna be going through my vintage denim collection. If you've seen my last video, you already know I have an obsession with denim. And if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go check out my previous video. I found a lot of the other great colorful vintage and thrift finds during quarantine. Uh, so today I have about nine pairs of jeans and two pairs of vintage shorts that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Before we start, please hit subscribe so you can join the Meerkat gang. I actually like Googled it <laughs> and actually a group of Meerkats is actually called a gang. So you know it's real. Also I just want to be friends so we can get to know each other and like get to know each other in the comments. So with that being said, let's get into it. Before we get into it, let's discuss some of my denim must-haves. First, I like for my denim to be 100% cotton for a nice, sturdy, and durable fit. Next, it has to have a perfect waist or booty fit. That means it has to be cinched in and no gaps in the back. Next, I look for a super high rise and I found that 11 inches is perfect for me. Lastly, since I'm 5'2", an inseam less than 20 inches is ideal. First up, we have my Levi 501s, which I got at the Rose Bowl Flea Market. I actually distressed these myself and I think they've turned out pretty darn good. Uh, these jeans are 100% uh, cotton and fit my booty and waist perfectly, so we love that. Um, they're a 29 inch waist and an 11 inch rise. Uh, one of my favorite parts about these are that I don't need a belt to wear them with. Sometimes I feel like that can ruin the outfit. Uh, I also cut the bottom hems and rolled them to fit my height. Now these are a fun pair. Uh, these are my 80s Rocky Mountain jeans that I got from Melrose Vintage in Whittier. These jeans again are also 100% cotton. Um, now you'll see that these jeans don't have butt pockets, uh, which is very common for Rocky Mountain jeans, and which I kind of find unique, although I can understand it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, but I feel as if the triple belt loop feature in the back, the design on the front and deep pockets make up for the lack of butt pockets. These jeans have a super high rise, approximately like 12 inches, uh, and that actually the waist is 26 inches. Um, so for the shape of my torso, with a higher rise, I can get away with a smaller waist size, um, with these pair especially. Oh my goodness, it's my belly button. Look away! Uh, <laughs> these are my Levi Silver Tab Relax Fit Jeans. I got these rare beauties from the Bearded Beagle in Highland Park. They're 100% cotton, and our 29 inch waist with a 10 inch rise. So remember that 11 inch rise, that's perfect for me. Um, so that's why you can see my belly button when I wear these. Now the booty and waist isn't quite perfect, but I just couldn't pass these up. I mean, look at them. Uh, now if I wanted a high waisted fit, I could just add a belt. And now I can wear these jeans two ways, um, which I think is one of the reasons why I really love them so much. In a sea among vintage blue denim, I do have one pair of vintage black Wrangler jeans. I thrifted these at a store in Philadelphia since that's where I'm originally from, uh, which is Pennsylvania. I love these jeans. Uh, I typically wear them when I go out, when we used to go out, sad. Uh, I typically style them with my favorite booties or platform Oxfords and a leather jacket and they always make me feel like a badass. Um, also, my philosophy is that if the jeans will make me ha do a happy dance or, you know, then I don't want it, you know, we don't want that here. If it doesn't make me dance, then I don't want it. Mm. Go girl. Mm. Mm. Go girl. Yeah. Mm. Now I love a tight fitting pair of jeans as much as the next person and vintage denim will undeniably make you feel like a sausage sometimes. Like if you know, you know. But sometimes you just want to be comfortable, yes, stylish. Funny enough, these are vintage 90s urban up boys jeans, and I feel as if they are the perfect, comfy, yet stylish combination. The wash and the fit are everything, and I feel like they make my legs look long, which is always a plus. But yo, the best part is the adjustable waist. Perfect if you're bloated, if you gain weight or lose weight. Or if you just eat too many McDonald's french fries and mango pineapple smoothies, aka a weekly occurrence for me. Not ashamed, not ashamed. I love my Mickey D's. Uh, but yeah, I really, really love these. They just add a little bit something different. I feel like most popular vintage denim is light wash, which I'm sure you would agree. But I love thrifting medium and darker washes as well, especially for fall and winter. I feel like they just pair you know, really nicely with like the fall and winter colors. 
Um, these are loafer blues jeans. I thrifted from the Salvation Army in Alhambra for eight bucks. Before thrifting these, I never heard of this brand, but I really, really like the details in the back and they fit really great. Don't need a belt, which, you know, I prefer. Uh, they have a perfect waist and booty fit and are 100% cotton. If you saw my last video, you will recognize the next couple of pairs, but I realized I never showed you guys the full fit or look at them, so I do apologize. Um, but these are my vintage guest jeans, which are honestly, in my opinion, the perfect mom jean. The booty and waist look good. The only thing is the inseam is too long, as you can see. I did roll them up, but I have kept the original hem, and I would like to get them professionally tailored so that I can shorten the length, but keep the original hem for a cleaner look. Uh, let me know if you guys think I should do this. I kind of want to do a whole video of tailoring outfits. Next are my Gap low rise jeans that are not really low rise, as you can see, but are more of a mid rise fit. I heard a lot of positive things about vintage Gap jeans, so I couldn't wait to get them and try them on when I found these on Etsy. And I have to say that I really, really like vintage Gap jeans. Um, I would style these with some chunky white sneakers if I had them, you know, like Air Force Ones and perhaps an oversized hoodie, um, a la, you know, Gen Z, TikTok trends going on right now. I feel as if that's what these jeans would look really great with. Um, and then although I prefer high-waisted jeans, these low-rise pair have me feeling some type of way, like, like a true 90s baddie, like, mm, mm, get it girl, get it girl, like, yes. This pair was also part of my quarantine thrift haul and are another pair of the vintage Gap jeans. Um, they do look similar to the guest jeans, but they have more of an 80s wider leg fit. Uh, now I see myself pairing these with some, you know, square toe kitten heels and a billowy long sleeve blouse. Like, uh, I can't wait for cooler weather to finally sport jeans again. Cause like LA has been feeling like Satan's anus for the past few months. Like the fires, everyone's stuck inside with quarantine. It's hot, like nineties, a hundreds. Uh, I just can't wait for fall for apples and apple cider, apple pie, all the apples. Yes, I want it. So since it's been so hot, I've been mostly wearing my Levi 501 shorts. I didn't cut these, but found them like actually like this at the Goodwill for five bucks, which is a steal in my opinion. They're the same waist measurement as my 501 jeans, which are the first pair I tried on. Uh, I also have them in this light wash and, and also a medium wash as well. These were part of my quarantine thrift haul and have been, you know, loving having another option to wear, you know, just to kind of switch it up. And happy dancing because this concludes my denim collection. My moves might be questionable, but at least I'll look good doing it. So that was my collection, guys. I hope you like it, liked it. I mean, like my favorite piece was definitely the Levi 501 jeans, just because of the fit. I mean, you can't deny the 501 fit. And also I've had them the longest, so naturally. But I wanna know what you guys like, so please put um, what favorite pair you liked in my collection in the comments below so we can have a little discussion about it. And also tune in next Thursday, that's when I'm gonna be posting uh, here on YouTube uh, for a trip down memory lane to the 90s. We're gonna do some 90s crafts that I did as a kid. Uh, and also just discuss 90s and early 2000s fashion so you definitely don't want to miss out so hit subscribe and also the notification bell so you don't miss out on the party um thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel uh, i hope you have a great day meerkat out <laughs>